he would be the very first to find an exact solution to Einstein's field equations, and yet he managed this mathematical feat while on the battlefield of World War I. Here are 10 facts about the German astrophysicist Karl Schwarzschild. 1. Birth and Early Life Karl Schwarzschild was born on October 9, 1873 in Frankfurt am Main in Germany, into a Jewish family that traced its history to the city from at least the 16th century. His parents, Moses Martin Schwarzschild and Henrietta Sable, owned two fabric stores in Frankfurt, and it is said of Karl that, from his mother, a vivacious, warm person, Schwarzschild undoubtedly inherited his happy, outgoing personality from his father, a capacity for sustained hard work. Karl would branch out and be the black sheep of the family, being the sole scientist, and at the young age of 16, he had two of his papers on the theory of celestial orbits of double stars published in 1890. 2. Photometry. In 1897, while working at the Kuffner Observatory in Vienna, Schwarzschild devised a formula to calculate the optical density of photographic material. This formula included an exponent, now known as the Schwarzschild exponent. The formula is crucial to achieving more precise photographic measurements of the intensities of dim astronomical bodies. 3. Work on optics. In 1905, Schwarzschild proposed a new type of optical system for telescopes, which utilized two mirrors to correct for aberrations. Building upon this concept, he later developed the Schwarzschild spectrometer, which applied similar principles to spectroscopy. The design of the Schwarzschild spectrometer was a significant advancement in the field of spectroscopy, particularly in the ultraviolet range where aberrations are more pronounced and traditional optical systems struggled to achieve high resolution. Schwarzschild's innovative use of two concentric spherical mirrors allowed for the correction of both spherical and chromatic aberrations, resulting in sharper and more accurate spectral images. 4. Family Karl met Elsa Rosenbach while he was professor of the Göttingen Observatory, and the two married in 1909. Karl and Elsa would have three children, Agatha, Martin, and Alfred. Notably, his son Martin would follow in his footsteps, becoming a distinguished astrophysicist known for his work on stellar structure and evolution. 5. World War I when the Great War broke out in August of 1914, Schwarzschild, who was then over 40 years old, volunteered for military service. He would gain the rank of lieutenant, and he served in Belgium, where he managed a weather station, in France, where he was assigned to an artillery unit and tasked with calculating missile trajectories, and then later to the Eastern Front in Russia. It was during the war on the Eastern Front where Schwarzschild would write three papers, one on quantum mechanics and his two seminal papers, on Einstein's very recent theory of general relativity. 6. Solving the field equations. Einstein's field equations, first appearing in November of 1915, form the core of his theory of general relativity, describing how matter and energy influence the curvature of space-time. Amazingly, while Schwarzschild was serving on the Eastern Front, he would be the very first to find an exact solution to these equations in less than two months' time. In his first paper, titled On the Gravitational Field of a Mass Point, according to Einstein's theory, Schwarzschild solved the 10 differential field equations by finding a solution that described the geometry of space-time around a non-rotating, spherically symmetrical mass. Schwarzschild would write to Einstein saying, The war treated me kind enough, in spite of the heavy gunfire, to allow me to get away from it all and to take this walk in the land of your ideas. Einstein's response to Schwarzschild and his solution, I have read your paper with the utmost interest. I had not expected that one could formulate the exact solution of the problem in such a simple way. I liked very much your mathematical treatment of the subject. Next Thursday, I shall present the work to the Academy with a few words of explanation. 7. Perihelion Shift of Mercury Carl's exact solution, known as the Schwarzschild solution, describes the gravitational field outside a spherical, non-rotating mass and provided a concrete example of how Einstein's abstract equations could be applied to real physical situations. Einstein at that time was able to give an approximate solution to the perihelion shift of Mercury, though Schwarzschild's solution would give it exactly. Schwarzschild would speak of this in his mass point paper saying, Mr. Einstein showed that this problem in first approximation leads to Newton's law and that the second approximation correctly reproduces the known anomaly in the motion of the perihelion of Mercury. 
The following calculation yields the exact solution of the problem. It is always pleasant to avail of exact solutions of simple form. More importantly, the calculation proves also the uniqueness of the solution about which Mr. Einstein's treatment still left doubt and which could have been proved only with great difficulty in the way shown below through such an approximation method. The following lines, therefore, let Mr. Einstein's result shine with increased clearness. 8. Schwarzschild's radius. Schwarzschild's solution for Einstein's field equations led to the concept of the Schwarzschild radius, mentioned in his second paper he wrote during the war, which was an extension of his first paper. The second paper, titled On the Gravitational Field of a Sphere of Incompressible Fluid According to Einstein's Theory, explained the radius as the distance from the center of the sphere at which all the mass were compressed within that distance, the escape velocity would equal the speed of light. It is interesting to note that Schwarzschild thought at least part of the solution not physically meaningful, writing in the paper, on the road of these solutions that are clearly not physically meaningful, since they give infinite pressure at the center. This touching on the singularities found within the solution. 9. Event Horizon a consequence of relativity in Schwarzschild's solution is the concept of the event horizon. An extension of the Schwarzschild radius, the event horizon marks the spherical boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the gravitational pull of a black hole. It represents the point of no return for any object or information falling into the black hole, a threshold where the laws of physics as we understand them cease to apply. 10. Death and legacy. While serving on the Eastern Front, Carl acquired a rare autoimmune disease known as pemphigus, a disease which mistakes the cells in the skin as alien and attacks them, causing painful blisters. Schwarzschild would return home to Göttingen in March of 1916 due to the illness, and on May 11th he would pass away at the young age of 42. Schwarzschild's solution to Einstein's field equations opened our understanding of a more precise view of gravity and the structure of space-time under extreme conditions, forming the basis for modern black hole theory. We thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to offer a like.